My name is Mike. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. Today is January 8th, I believe, and we are trimming green giants in the field. This right here, this is a good example of a green giant that we had in the field. We planted this tree two years ago. It was about eight inches tall when we planted it in a one quart container. And this is the first time we are pruning it, so you can see that it did grow fairly fast for us. There was a two full growing seasons that's been in the ground now. So uh, we might have, should have trimmed it last year, but sometimes on nurseries we get so busy with work that we just don't get everything done. And that's why we're out here and it's maybe 10 degrees and we're trimming trees. But this is a green giant and this is a good one to go over because it has everything that I really want to discuss about on what I think is important for the arborvitae. And I like our arborvitae to have one central leader to it. That's the number one thing that I want. I don't even care if it's sparse or anything like that, just one leader. But this one here has a second leader growing up on it. And uh, we want to take care of that so it doesn't become a competitor or a dual leader or a co-dominant leader or whatever other word you want to use. So when we first start out, we'll go over, we move over to a spot where real nice branch unions at and cut off the piece that we want to get rid of. That way we have one leader, very defined, there's no any ifs or ors about it. So we got our one leader. Now since it's a little bit thin and not many people really like to have a real thin tree, we're going to go through and we're going to prune this guy down. And I could either cut it here for a light prune or here for a little bit heavier of a prune. But since this is so sparse, we're going to do a little hard, heavier of a prune. Then we're going to go on the sides and tip back to the sides a little bit. And that's to encourage these guys here or these guys there to take over a central leader. The closer that the central leader is, the new leader coming in, to the old leader, the stronger it will be. So we're kind of hoping that this one here will take it, but if not, we have a couple extra spares to take our root. Since we trimmed those two, we're going to do the rest of the tree so it keeps its shape. And not all arbor bodies are the same, and each grower that you grow to go to has a different ratio of height to width that the trees are. And for these guys here, these are spacing, very nice spacing. As you can see, the row spacing in between each tree is grand. So these guys here will probably become a little bit larger of a tree, maybe like around eight, nine, ten foot tall, and that'll be there in maybe like two to three more years they'll be there. And uh, so we go through, we just trim off a little bit of the sides, we make sure that it's all the tips are trimmed everywhere to encourage this interior growth to come out. And next year when we come out, what I would like to see is this interior growth grow out, fill in, so you won't be able to see the trunk of the tree. Oh, you will be able to, but it won't be so obvious. i also like to see a new leader sprout up on one of these. We may have to come through, and if two or three of them develop, we may have to go through and trim them. But our provider, Green Giant especially, is doesn't really do that. They usually have just one, and that's all that it does. So that's kind of how I like the tree. Again, one central leader, shaped a little bit denser. If you didn't want to make it dense, that's fine, but as long as it has one leader, you're pretty much good to go.